Moving on, the Coast Civil Society Network for Human Rights has written to Kenya Ports Authority demanding an update on the Mombasa port concessioning process. Addressing media in Mombasa County, the lobby group's chair Zedekiah Adika threatened to initiate a litigation process should the port management fail to yield to their demands. Reports of a planned leasing of some assets of the Kenya Ports Authority has prompted the Coastal Civil Society Network to write to the Ports Management seeking information on the progress of the process. Our focus is to look at those facts against the views of the people of the coast and the laws and there's a possibility that we may litigate. Flanked by a host of activists from the region, Network's chairperson Zedekiah Adika further challenged the National Assembly to play their oversight role and ensure the concession plan is done within the law. As long as the executive remains adamant and seek to present substandard policies and laws and parliament remains incompetent in enhancing oversight and continue to legislate the laws that fail the test of constitutionalism, the executive must brace itself for more class suits, breathing life to the rule of law. Last September 2023, Kenya Ports Authority invited bids for the development and operation of port assets through public-private partnerships. President William Ruto has, however, affirmed that the port of Mombasa will not be privatized, clarifying that it will be expanded to better serve the East African region. Gisho Kiwashira, Lunchtime News.